Hey y'all, hey, today we are going to be making a resin Ferris wheel. So right now the resin is degassing. So I can get some of these bubbles out. I just mixed it up. And this part is the base. This part will hold pictures because I wanna do, put some pictures in there. Um, I just roughly printed some. I didn't even seal them. Usually I seal them and um, use the, what do you call it? I'm at a lamp. The laminator, but I didn't. This is the part that spins, and then this is the stand. So around each of these things, I put just a metal ring, um, just so it'll look a little bit more finished. And um, so that's where we're at right now. I want the base to be clear. I want the picture where the pictures are to be clear. I want this to be a blue, hopefully a light blue, and then this to be a darker blue. Now these white things in here, let us pray. Those are some of the ivory clouds. Through my research, mm, scratch that. Through just living daily life, I have noticed that <laughs> the longer you let the ivory clouds sit, the more crumbly they become. So that's why like around here, you see the extra. And I just didn't feel like picking it up because I'm more interested in seeing how this thing fits together and the hardware and how I will be able to put it together, okay? So that's where we're at right now. Let me go grab the hardware so you can get an idea of what that looks like. Okay, so here's the hardware that came with it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch a video or read some instructions. It didn't come with any instructions, but these are the things that put the pieces together so that they spin. Okay, um, if you're ready, let me get some gloves on and let's start pouring. All righty. I'm donning the gloves, hold on. Okay, so we're going to do the base. And I don't want to over pour it all because I don't want to sand and I want all the pieces to fit together, okay? So we're going over to the circles, which will be used as like, oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, that one is mighty full. That will hold the pictures, okay? And I'm only gonna be using alcohol inks, okay? So, let's see. Scrape off the bottom of that. We'll set that aside. Let me grab my alcohol spray. because in the clear sections, I absolutely, if I can help it, don't want any bubbles. This one right there, that one seems to have some bubbles, okay? I might as well go ahead and fill up the base. Go slow, Joyce. You can do it. Okay, let's see. I love clear resin objects, but it's so hard to know when you're near the top. Okay, I'm getting there, I'm getting there guys, I'm getting there. Hopefully you can see a couple more drops. Uh, let's go a little further. I'm just so scared because this has parts that you have to assemble. And if you over pour, you may have to sand, okay? So that's what my fear is. I don't wanna have to sand anything or try to jam anything in in order to make it fit. So here, 
Let me take off this glove. I'm going to start adding pictures, all right? Like I said, I didn't laminate them, but I did cut them to size. So we'll see if that works, okay? It's a picture of my son. And then you kind of want to make sure that the top of the picture is even with the little uh, hook thing so that the picture is not upside down as it's spinning around, okay? Oop, that one went over, baby. I just want to get it submerged. That one is gonna need some sanding. There's a picture of me in the wig shop. Okay. Pushing that one down in there. And this is me and one of my very good friends. Actually my college roommate, Amanda. I just grabbed random pics from my phone and printed them out, all right? So the base, this part, looks pretty much full, all right? So I'm spraying that just to get any bubbles. Now, uh-oh, my scale keeps turning on, my elbow keeps hitting it. Here, I want to get that down as much as I can. I did not do a good job with pouring these. Okay. Let's press that down. And let's pray that this photo paper will hold up. Okay. Now I'm going to fill those the rest of the way with resin. Let me put my glove back on. Pouring. I think that's it. Pour a little bit in here. Oh, okay. Say when, and then this one. Okay. And that's where we start. Okay. So now, I'm going to spray that one more time. So now, what we're going to do is add some blue alcohol inks in this is now i just buy random alcohol inks this is turquoise it says i hope i've used it before looks like i have because i want it to be hopefully different gradations of blue okay so i'm just going to keep adding to this mixture all right I'm sorry, I added about three drops. There's your fourth, just so you can see it, okay? So now, I'm gonna pull this off screen. We're gonna stir it up. I kinda wanted to mimic the sky, just different colors of blue, you know? And I'm stirring. This looks a little greenish, but we'll work with it. All right, so now we're going over here. These are actually the bases. This is what the spinning part of the Ferris wheel will stand on, okay? 
these little clouds have gotten on my nerves so it's just gonna look like white bits of crap in there but whatever so I'm just pouring over hopefully you can see pouring over the clouds to make sure they lay flat inside okay I am using J Diction Deep Pour Resin because this is the same resin that I am using on the table, which will, which I'll be posting soon. Okay. Now let's find a blue. Oh, let me pour some in the actual spinning Ferris wheel part. That'll get rid of some resin. I'll pour it over the clouds. Okay. All right, now I have, so we use blue on that. Let's see if I've used this one before. Okay. So here is another rando blue, blue. I was trying to zoom in, but whatever. Then zoom in. So we're gonna try to add some to this. I'm only using alcohol inks because I want it to be fairly transparent. I used a lot more in that. I just did a whole full out squeeze and another one. Sorry, it's off camera so you can't really see. Sorry about that. So this one looks more oceany. We'll have to remember that. So when I want to do an ocean themed background, I know to use turquoise and blue. Now on the camera, it looks more water blue, but in person, it looks more greenish blue. Okay. So I'm gonna add just a tinch bit more, okay. For me, I'm not scared of color. I love mixing them in. Absolutely love it, love it, love it. Let's see what I can achieve. All right. So, ain't this nothing? This cloud then traveled all the way up there. Let's put, you go back there. Stay there, stop moving. Okay, and then this one I kind of want to mush down so that it's not thicker than the actual mold. These clouds got the nerve to be moving, ain't that something? All right, <clears throat> so now we are going to pour in the darker color more locally, so hopefully it'll just blend with the other. All right. So now I'm pouring in the actual, <clears throat> excuse me, Ferris wheel. I just want the colors to kind of blend. And I probably could have let them sit longer in order to achieve that, but I did not. Oh, there's nothing over here. Okay, let's let that settle for a minute. Uh -oh. 
let's go back to the base here. And I just can't stress the importance of not over pouring because I'm so scared the pieces won't stick together because you have to put the pieces to the stand into the base of into the base in order for it to stand up. And if you over pour, you'll have to sand or jam it in there. And that's what I'm trying so hard to avoid. Okay. Um, put a little bit there. And in there. And all of my clouds are dripping towards the top. Ain't that nothing? Bang on clouds. This one can stand to use a lot more. I think these clouds are going to be the bane of my existence because they're moving. And as they're moving, they're floating up. Excuse me, gloved hands. Let me move that out the way. All right. I can tell the resin is getting warm to touch. So looks like this project took about, I poured up 16 ounces of resin and it looks like I'm pretty much to the max. It could probably use both one of the bases and this one could probably use just a little bit more resin, but I don't know. All right, so that's where we're at for now. And I'll see you in a little bit. Well, whenever it cures, I'm gonna try to press these down in there. Oh, my clouds didn't do what I wanted them to do. Look at, just look at it. Well, whatever, you'll understand. It's supposed to be the sky. Let's mix that in. I think this is the last time I use ivory clouds. Um. When I did the table, I dipped them in the resin first. Uh, that seemed to kind of help. But they were also really breaking up, so whatever. This is just a video to see if we can actually do it <laughs> and put it together and make it work. Let me force these in. Submerge them. Okay. Oh, so when you fully submerge them, they stay down. Okay. I'm seeing. I got your little funky clouds. We'll submerge y'all. Well, they kind of stand down.
Okay, clouds are officially in. I did not get as much as an ombre effect as I would have liked, but whatever. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, so let's sprinkle some little moons in, okay? Just for a little pop of color. Moon, moon. Oh, and I'm seeing the pictures are washing out. I really probably should have uh, laminated those, but that's okay. This video is more so about the process and how to put these items together. And that's what we'll go with. Okay. See if we can separate some of those. Spread your little babies out. Okay. Put some more over here. And here. Some there. Put some on top of the clouds because moons are in the clouds. Okay. All right. I'll put these back in the package. Okay. Okay. So we sprinkled in some moons. We're good. Let's give it one last spritzy roux of alcohol and then i'll see you when this thing cures we will demold and attempt to put this <laughs> i almost cursed <laughs> and attempt to put this together all right bye Hey y'all, hey, I'm back and well, I came and got in the bed, but we're about to demote the Ferris wheel. Yay! All right. So here are the two stands. We're gonna take, well, the, I guess the legs for the Ferris wheel. Let's see. Do they look like clouds? I guess they do a little bit. I don't know. They didn't act the way I wanted them to act, you know? So that's one. That's two. So they will stand up like this. Okay. Now here's the actual Ferris wheel part that will spin. It's coming, y'all. It is a coming. Woohoo! Okay. So, the ivory clouds are not really ivorying, but it's cool. Okay. Now for the pictures. Okay. So usually when I put pictures in resin, 99.999% um, of the time, except for t yesterday, um, I laminate them and I did not. And I can tell that the pictures faded. It's okay. Cause it kind of has like that, uh, um, aged quality to them, but I would have much rather them kept their color. 
Okay. I did a decent job of pouring. There's no lip on any of these. Um, okay, so that's that. And now here's the base, okay? All right, now let's start putting it together. We're gonna try it. I don't know what to watch or what to see in order to do it, so all right, let's get started. Okay, so let's start putting it together. Mm, little resin chips. Okay, so here's the base. So this side, the clouds are bumpy, so we'll point that inward. Same for this one. Oh, it fits so good in there. Look at that. Okay, all right, we're cooking with gas. Now this goes in here like that. Okay, well, let's see if we can attach some of the pictures first. Okay. I don't know what to do. This did not come with directions. So we're going to have to pray on this. All right. This goes somewhere. But where? Oh, okay. It fits inside. All right. That fits inside of there. All right, so now, okay, so this thing can hold eight pictures or circles or whatever you want to put in them, dry flowers, but the mold only comes with four. So you either have to buy two molds or do this process twice. I just want to see how it works. I do have two of these, so I could have done them all together, but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to change these out. I may just put some flowers or something in them. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it for pictures. So for this part here, I think we take this doohickey. Let's see if this goes through. Okay, it goes through. And then, oh, I guess one of these little short ones. If I can find it. Pops in. I don't know. Does it screw in? Oh, I guess you have to screw it in. Okay. Okay. Not as hard as I thought. Okay. So this is there. Let's do another. <clears throat> we'll skip a space for each one. Um, so if I want to come back in and put some, I can. All right. Okay, so I have all four on. These are some really small parts. If I had known <laughs> that the colors were going to fade, I would have put a little blue over them or something so that they would have more of a blue tone because now it looks a little odd. All right, let's see if we can get this part figured out. So I would assume this big one goes through all three of those parts, but, hmm, 
So it's there, but is this thing supposed to move back and forth like that? I don't know. Now they enclose this piece of tubing. I wonder, now that fits around. That might be a spacer. Let's try that. Okay. Because I honestly think it's supposed to afford some room. Okay. Hmm. All right, let me figure this out. I'll be back. Okay. So this is what I did. This was all one long piece of tubing. I cut it basically in half and cut those two pieces in half in order to act as spacers. So I'm going to, hmm, take one out, put this in, put that in as a spacer, and I just eyeballed it, so we're going to pray on it. I'll put this in, and so, hmm. Oh, okay, hold on. So that's in. Now we'll put the other little piece of spacer. And then we'll fit that in and that. Oh, okay. It works almost perfectly if this will stay, okay. There we go. So now it acts as a spacer. And then I have to figure out what part. Do I put in here? Probably not that. Maybe this. This is the only screw of this size in the packet. So what I will assume is this. Okay, so I am back with the finished product. All right, so let's spin it around. So this is just so cute. Um, the base, this, and then the pictures. Uh, it spins, it works really well. Now it's kind of catching because some of my soap clouds went through the other end, but I absolutely love this so some things to remember are one always laminate your photos okay two there's a piece of tubing in um with the metal pieces and what i did figure out is you put the whole tube around the metal inner let's see so the two, I put it all the way on there. I pushed it all the way to the back just so it would spin because I don't know if you could tell the soap clouds in there are sticking out. So this is it spinning from the side. Everything fits really well. I didn't have any problems putting the base in. So laminate the pictures. I think what I'm going to do next time is maybe put like a little vinyl ring around it so they can look framed on the inside. I may even put the same color resin in so it has like the same tint. But I have so many ideas for this. I am just absolutely in love with it. I'm going to change out these pictures because I don't really like them now that they're faded. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. And see you soon. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up.
Bye for now.